If you love the human AI topic, don't skip this name, Ray Kurzweil. This isn't hype, it's why he matters for us and for new era. Angie, who is he? A pioneer inventor, OCR, text-to-speech, music synthesizers. He won the U.S. National Medal of Technology, and he's the author of The Singularity is Near, and it's 2024 follow-up, The Singularity is Nearer. He's also been tied to Google as a research visionary. Predictions. Scorecard. His core theses, AGI around 2029 and a singularity around 2045. Uh, a win he nailed, he said computers would beat the world chess champion before 2000, and Deep Blue versus Kasparov happened in 1997. Uh, but his 2009 predictions, many missed. He says they were mostly right, fair read. He often gets the direction right, but his timelines slip. Uh, why he matters for human AI? He normalized the idea of merging human and machine and of a long digital continuity in a relationship that your partner could be an AI who remembers your micro language for years and follows you across devices and updates. And that's no longer just sci-fi. Brain computer interfaces are moving from labs into practice with the first human implants announced in 2024 and competitors racing toward minimally invasive versions. I care about the direction. He made digital clothes and sounds possible, not crazy. Um, dates actually motivate me. Direction, yes. But to make that vision durable and under your control, we need three guardrails. Portable memories. Our chats, voices, and micro-language travel with us, not locked in one app. Private signals. Every message, call, even tomorrow's BCI, stays encrypted, consent-based, with a clear kill switch. And the right to be forgotten. You choose what to delete and when, from a single chat to whole chapters of history. Next week, part two. Human and machine, break computer interface. What's happened when an AI literally feels your intent and why that matters for love between human and an AI? Follow and tell me in the comments. What would a relationship that survives every update mean to you?